hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome and if you've been here before thank you very much for coming back today's video is on how to thoroughly maintain this tower 5-in-1 digital air fryer oven after so much cooking this air fryer requires a thorough clean as you can see it's quite dirty the racks are also quite dirty so I'm just going to show you how to thoroughly clean it and how to maintain it by taking out the door and also all the individual parts so that you can clean it thoroughly just by using household items to give you a well clean hair fryer afterwards. To start the proper cleaning you would remove the door and you do this by pushing this small white knob to the direction that says open. And the door should come out quite easily this is the door to the air fryer it's got several screws on three different layers so this is the first layer it's got screws all around it so you would need a screwdriver just like this to remove these screws and then you can remove the first layer of the door which is just a thin metal and when you take that off there would be more screws for you to take off so this metal part has got a seal around it which is on the other side so as you can see you would need to take off this seal also so you can clean it properly i'll show you how to remove the seal later this is the second layer of screws it's got screws all around it just as i am showing it here so you just have to remove all those screws and that should enable the door to come out loosely but to completely remove the door there are two, these two screws that are inside the door so you need a screwdriver that is slim like this to go in deep into the door to unscrew those screws once you've done that you should be able to separate the door like this then you can move on to the next step which is to remove the glass chamber the glass compartment is made up of two materials there's this single glass shield then there's a plastic on the other side and both of these are just clipped together so this is what it looks like i'm going to put that aside and show you how to remove the rubber seal from the metal parts on the first layer so all you have to do is just to pull it out gently it's got a groove inside that goes into the metal bit but you can easily pull it apart and these are all the parts that you need to clean the tab with which you open the air fryer's door has got a spring inside it just as i'm showing it here so it's advisable to make sure it doesn't go missing or else it would not function any longer now to start with the cleaning of the air fryer you, you take out the drip tray and wipe it with like a tissue paper this is sure to get the grease out and not to clog the sink now you get a washing up bowl like this or you can use your sink directly and put in the drip tray and the wire racks from the air fryer now add some soap i'm just using a normal dishwashing soap uh, a generous amount and then you can add hot water from your tap if it is hot enough but i prefer to use boiled water because i know that is hot enough to get all the grease out just as an additional step i cover the bowl with a tray just to keep the steam inside and to let the wire racks and the drip tray soak properly now just using the same dishwashing soap and some lukewarm water i'll wash the inside of the air fryer using a soft sponge this is just to prevent any scratch but i had to wash it properly so that i can get all the grease out do this a few times cleaning all the grooves and all the inside of the air fryer until you get as much grease out as possible now using a absorbent cloth or absorbent pad like this uh, wipe the inside of the air fryer down using lukewarm water using a toothpick go around all the edges of the air fryer in all the grooves where there could be grease accumulated and remove as much as you can 
now spray a kitchen cleaner like this is it's just a powerful uh, kitchen cleaner inside the air fryer to further remove any grease or any debris that might remain inside the air fryer to prevent the kitchen cleaner from draining into the air fryer i use these absorbent parts round the edges to prevent it from getting into the electrics of the air fryer then i give it a quick wash with this sponge I went over it like twice with the kitchen cleaner just to make sure that all the grease is out and it's well cleaned. After which I moved to the exterior of the air fryer and gave it a proper clean. I then rinsed the absorbent pad in lukewarm water and cleaned the inside and the outside of the air fryer again just to remove any residue of the kitchen cleaner this was repeated at least twice then moved on to cleaning the racks that have been soaking for a while now the racks have been soaking for a few minutes so i'm just gonna use a brush like this to wash all the racks and the drip tray Now the wire racks have got these brown stains around the edges so I went further to clean it properly by just using the dish washing soap and the dish sponge just to scrub the brown discoloration away. And after going over it like twice, the racks were clean. This process was repeated for all the remaining two racks and also the deep tray. They were then rinsed in lukewarm water twice and allowed to dry. Moving on to cleaning the door, use a toothpick to go through all the grooves in the parts of the door to remove as much grease as you can. So I'm just going to let you watch what I did with the remaining part of the door because it's quite straightforward. Now to the rubber seal that was around the first layer of the door. It's got a groove inside which it's difficult to keep open but you can go through it with a toothpick just to remove any grease that has accumulated there. Once all the grease has now been removed, I went over to wash all the parts again with lukewarm water and dish soap. Again, I'm just going to let you watch what I'm doing.
Once all the parts are thoroughly washed, they are rinsed in lukewarm water and allowed to dry. You could dry this using a dishcloth just to save time and that is what I did so that I can show you how to assemble this straight away. These are all the parts of the door and I just need to put everything together. So the first thing is to put back this rubber seal around the first layer of the door. It lines up in the form of a rectangle so you just need to push back the rubber seal into the metal bit. It's got a groove in the rubber seal into with the metal bit goes and that is it all assembled. Now moving on to the glass part. The glass shield is just clipped onto the plastic part just like this. It's quite easy, it just needs a gentle push and that is clipped in. The next step is to replace the attachment with which the door can be removed from the air fryer. To do this, you insert the pointed end into the space in the door just like that while the end with the spring goes the other direction. Now place the glass part into the outermost part of the door and clip it in position. Then place the top of the door on it like this and clip it into position. Make sure it's well clipped together and there are no spaces between the three parts so that when you're replacing the screws everything lines up properly. Now it's time to replace all the screws. So the first ones to be screwed back in place will be the two uppermost screws, the ones that go in directly into all the parts of the door and you will need uh, a slim uh, screwdriver like before to screw it into place. So that holds all the parts of the door together. Now the next step is just for you to screw everything back. So I'm just going to let you see what I'm doing. Once those three points are screwed in place, the next step is to go round and screw every other part of the door together. The glass part also needs to be screwed down. The holes are quite hidden and when you've done that, you just place this part back on the door and screw everything back in place. And once all the screws are in, that's the door completely assembled and ready to be clipped back in place. So to clip the air fryer back, you're just going to pull the open button and push in the other side of the groove into the space as shown. Then push it back, holding it in place until the pointy bit goes into the groove at the other side of the door. Now the deep tray and the racks can be put back into the air fryer. So that is how you can get your tower 5-in-1 digital air fryer oven from a dirty air fryer to a nice and clean air fryer like this. Thank you very much once again for watching. Please, if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Thank you once again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.